Greetings everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video we create an mp3 audio file that we create using a microphone and the audio director. If you have opened the audio director, this default window layout will be visible. Switch to the mix tab, that means the audio mixer. Here are some predefined audio tracks and the master track. Do right click to display menu where you can set track properties, you can hide or delete the user track, you can add new tracks by clicking on this small note icon here. I will use the first track now. I select the small icon here to indicate to myself that this track contains human voice audio material and also I give the audio track a name, I write human voice. Clicking on this small icon will bring up a menu in which I can set the audio track as an input or output channel. I want to use my Rode microphone, so I set this channel to use the microphone. The additional features can be set such as whether I want stereo right or left channel mono recording. The sample rate can be set here, I use 44 kHz which is pretty good quality, I set the bit depth to 16 bits, I don't use monitor input now so I leave it in the off position and hit OK. To enable recording on the audio track I need to click on the small microphone icon here which then indicates in red that it is active. I can use the position indicator to set which position I want to start recording. Now I set it to the beginning of the audio track. Voice recording starts by clicking on the red circle icon here. Let's start recording. Since I didn't set the monitor input, I cannot hear the recorded zone now. This will only be heard if I play the zone back. But I hear myself pretty well, I'm not sitting in a separate studio right now that I should have a monitor. Once a recording is complete, the master bar shows the total recording length. If I move the audio recording, the displayed length of the master track also changes. I can adjust the recording volume by moving this yellow line up or down. Or I can set by moving the volume slider from right to left or from left to right. Or double click to edit the volume value so you can adjust the channel volume by entering specific value. Now I'm directly setting a very high value of volume to make the volume meter turn red, indicating that there is a probable distortion in the channel track. When I start playback, the indicator immediately indicates the volume is too high. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart composed more than 600 works, many of which are acknowledged as the pinnacle of symphony, concertant, chamber, you can deactivate the distortion indicator by double clicking on the red indicator on the microphone audio track, the master audio track and the audio control panel. However, we need to lower the volume so that the indicator does not go red. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart composed more than 600 works, many of which are acknowledged as the pinnacle of symphony, concertant, chamber, operatic and choral music. He is considered among the now we can disable the recording channel activation. If someone is bothered by the yellow volume setting line, you can remove it by clicking on this icon. However, if you change the volume at this time, you will not see anything happening in the volume indicator panel. If you turn on the indicator, the modification is immediately visible. Uh, the actual volume changes even if it is not visible on the panel. Keep it in mind.
Exporting the audio material can be done by clicking on the Produce button. A dialog box appears, set the desired directory, the file name is Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart Live. I select the output file format from this list box, let it be MP3, set the bitrate and click the Produce button. The MP3 file is created by the audio director. This is also indicated in the window in the upper left corner. You can also play it by clicking on the small play icon here. Wolfgang Amadeus Mozart composed more than 600. Thanks for watching. If you like this video, make sure to subscribe for more and see you in the next time. Bye.